Yeah, Spike getting planted by Superman in hand. The Astro will peel off. DCJ lining up that recon dart, but he thinks otherwise of it. The back corner of the site does not contain a single body of Rise. They're sequestered over by the link that leads into C. That's where XF might, might come from. Zekin in that particular position. He's got a flash out, but BCJ can't capitalize off of it. There's a cyber cage there instead. He gets the very first kill walking in. Pure with him as well, and two for Pure. Three, four! Almost all of them! He didn't start rise as they group up for long. One of those shots did land on the Superman. He's been put down to 40 HP. One of the most satisfying sounds of any weapon in the game right there. At Pure's above, by the way, he picked up four kills in the previous round. He's going to be a difference maker this time, starting it off. Rise finds their footing, they clear into the site. Next set, he won that first pistol round, had the upper hand. Superman and Derek, a 2v3. Superman down, it's Derek now, full HP. Spectre available to him. He's got three targets to find, and they're all well healed. He'll get swung on by. So at some point, maybe Rise will decide to settle things down. Who knows? Depth out of his element, out of his depth, I guess you could say, as he peeks up a little bit too much, and that aggressiveness goes completely unpunished on the side of Rise. They walk away with that. Shanks finds a second, and he'll now be getting chased by Aaron, and despite being concussed, walks away with it with his third kill. Zekin and Pure now. Utility from above, from heaven, dropping down is Zekin, capitalizing, down goes Shanks, Derek next in line, you're toast! Superman walk right into him, I'll take a third, thank you very much. Out go the Seekers, but he can out now. Scouting, and there's a run it back on the board. And Neptune's gonna run right in, he capitalizes off of it, your clock is ticking, and you're about to run out, so do some damage, and then there's your mulligan, you get to try all over again. Spike gets planted in B as well. It looked like it was gonna be over towards C, but no. Poise pulls out the Neuro Theft. And the location of the remaining members of Xset, but for a couple seconds is known. And now they'll sit in the site and wait very patiently. Shanks taken out by a shock dart from BCJ. Not able to use those knives to full effect. The flash now goes in as well. Poised swings through the cage, taken out by Zekin after he silences BCJ. And Pure pops up, the divide is there to cut them off. They're trying to look as they stick the spike, trying at least to Zaylin, but he can't really do too much of it. He's punished by Derek over by the window, and Zekin will need to not just disable that spike and defuse it, but also contend with the two last players there. He's not going to be able to... I'll break the stalemate here. Depth, are you going to be able to peek well? Yes, you do. Poise just looks away at the wrong time. Bad timing on his end. Got him here. Looking longingly through the smoke, though, still does some damage. Down goes Shanks, and Shanks a major playmaker. Hunter finds his target, Superman fallen, Neptune trades off, but both teams are still holding equal, at least in the trades. You look at the bottom of your screen, though, and Derek is the one that is left longingly. He gets spotted by the Owl drone, we'll have to pull out the recon bolt. Don't bother. The stage just waits it out. Now they're going to feed their way to him. No damage being done from either of those shot guards, by the way. Jiggle peek around the corner and the jump will give us to the spike. They're going to need to escort it towards A, but Pure is the first line of defense. He's been good with the saw. Needs to hit his mark. Nice shot. Rise. The cage goes up. Timed perfectly from Rise. And Zekin's patience pays off as well. Run it back and then immediately pivot. He'll get two for the price of one. Pure his second kill on his BCJ. Well... Like I said, starting a streak of their own in this case. These teams exceptionally streaky, and I mean, hey, obviously if you're exit, that's going to benefit you. You'll see what happens with that second half, oh, is it'll be a boy. very crucial pistol round, and in this one in particular, it's not pistols, but not a full buy from Rise. Their artillery not up to snuff. Depp gets the first kill, try and even things out, and give some breathing with the point in Shanks. And speaking of, Shanks makes you pay! You both wander in, you don't look left! Shanks does what Shanks does best, looking for a 30, collects! A fourth one in his line of sight is pure over by a window and C. Second will try to flash him. Looks like it was accurate as Depp joins in and Shanks is down for the count. Rise forfeiting that very first pick. Shanks has ultimate as well. There's two rounds left in this first half, so it'll come out at some point in the 11th or 12th round if the economy for Rise goes in the wrong direction. Well, that can be particularly troubling. Neural theft is in. Neptune catches BCJ. And me, oh my, that is not where you want to be. Immediately, Neptune will cut off that point of sight. Out come those Seekers, and Pure capitalize off of it as Neptune's attention is elsewhere. Well, Exit of the upper hand now. 30 seconds remaining for Rise to be able to pull this one off. Position by Green, given away. You see the hand in the barrel of the gun, and it's good enough for Depth to collect one. Can't go collapse at some point as very quickly except try to get into B side and Superman mm. making noise as best as he can. Flash will go out, he evades it, Aaron goes down, Superman could line up another. They're going to play Ring Around the Rosie with him. He creeps to the left. Both Pure and Zekin are looking the other way. The jet of Pure almost spots him, but Superman's made it out now. He has no information, no intel to play off of. He'll sit and wait. His team pinging, trying to give information as to where they are. 
Out goes one of those hawks. Zekin spotted, but he doesn't know what to do. All the while this is happening, Shanks knows he has to act quickly, but he misses oh. his shot. Zekin is a little bit too slippery on that one. The entry from Rise does not work out effectively, and they'll continue to feed themselves to this X set machine. Up goes down, Zekin will follow. Rise now battling back. A 3v3 as both sides give up two picks. Aaron has some information that comes out from that cam, and he can still see them trying as best as he can to assist his team, spotting Superman in that particular position. Know where they are, but the divide is going to come out, and now Drone will follow. Poised waiting just next to that divide, waiting for Derek's peak to work with Poised. They've got this line of sight covered, and a crossfire established. The two players from Exit will need to swing wildly. Pure is up above. Out go those smokes on the spike, waiting for the dive in for Pure. There you go, Derek goes down, Pure connects next to the B window. Derek will do this on defense if the last set was any indication. And what a play by Shanks. Just so routine. He hears that the Sova goes on the Owl, and you immediately Spike want to push down. him because there's that moment of vulnerability. Still, except with the numbers. But like that, they swing twice. Derek, the last one alive for Rise, is Xset. Just need to wait out Derek. There's still tons of time left. Just about a minute to go here in the final round of this first half. Spike gets planted, and Derek continues to walk away. He'll have to watch against the two remaining members, but oh, no, he doesn't see death. And unfortunately for fans arise matchup, but Xset won them last time. Here comes the push. It's gonna be swift right in. Rise fall back, let Xset take control, and then play for refrags, play for the retake, and that seems to be the play right now. Spike being planted in a bit of an unorthodox spot, but no, not in time. Ooh, the hero of that round so far, Derek. Aaron picks up two. He's paid for by Superman taking him out. Superman still dropping those stars as much as he can. Neptune takes out Def, and it's Zekin with two HP and a dream. Everybody's been softened up though, but Shanks was... So, that is something that can continue to punish Ryze. We'll see if it does. Early spray from Derek, and he'll get one. Down goes Pure. You were just talking about how important he can be, and well, he's gone, as is Zekin. Shanks up on boxes, waiting, but bad timing to look away. He corrects his mistake, capitalizes on Aaron, and another lined up, but BCJ wins the duel. Shanks dispatched. A is totally theirs. He doesn't know that, though. And instead of deciding to provoke an engagement, he backs away. He thinks otherwise. Still watching Heaven, quite keenly. Rise know this. And there's one on a flank now. Def is going to come head to head with Poised. Cypher doesn't look to the left, and Def will be able to capitalize off this. There he goes, and now he'll yeah. march up to try and link with BCJ inside of the site. Spike's still in the hand for BCJ. Econ Dart? Why not? There goes the spike. No rely on the coverage and Depp doing his job. BCJ dies. No spike does not get planted. Look at the timer. They're going to have to go for it. But frags are what Depp is going to decide for. Only five seconds left and he loses it out in the 1v1. Not that Xset doesn't. But there's a lot of duels that are breaking. This man right here and Neptune as well. The two that have been so dominant so far for the team are just getting away. That's good use his utility to escape that tailwind saving him from potential refrags and he'll get another because of it over it long now here comes the hunter's fury and that's gonna get a lot of information for rise no serious damage being dealt quite yet but it might not matter as shanks gets his third kill now on short again here will trade out though poise elsewhere Shanks still needs to be One dealt with at the top of short, and Neptune is now here to support. It's just BCJ. He will finally shut down Shanks, but it doesn't. And still the Zova of Derek remains unmoved. He'll need to cover effectively, though. Zekin is getting that spike down. Xset desperately need to pull something off right now. Some more damage done to Zekin as that's one of those shock darts thrown out. Aaron on the flank, catches poise, and then he'll continue through B. Neural theft goes out. Same with those Seekers. And man, everything is going in their favor. But just as I say that, what is happening in front of our eyes? Everybody from Xset dies except for Zekin. And now he'll try to flash. They get cut down by Derek. And Rise pull a rabbit out of a hat on round 18. What goes on in the general day to day, but this one's gonna be a quick one, and they're gonna be greeted by a very welcoming Neptune. Finds two, flashes his way out, a third on the board for him, but BCJ says no more, not today. Taken down by X set, neural theft's gonna go up from poise, and the three last members of Rise to go up against the two from X set now have information. Even more than before. The position known. Spike will need to be retrieved as well. It's over by C as all of the bodies were dropping in the same area. 
Aaron and BCJ understand this. Derek is still in this spot, and he gets some information from that recon dart. Now out goes the shock dart. Onto the spike. Nice long range. Shanks with the operator. Away with this. Slow down this advance from Xset, which will come quickly. Fire and the Fury all over towards A. A lot of players in this lobby all in the same area. Very quickly rise. Have to move out, but they get some numbers too. In fact, Neptune putting in the work he needs to. Poises there right by him side by side. Got it back. Popped out. Aaron will shut them down before Poised does some significant damage and the divide comes up. Poised will spot it, whether it be from sewers or long. Camera taken out. Just misses out on that tracking dart. Poised will have to swing. They're running out of time. They have no chance. This is it. Map on the line, Exit will need to stop, but no, they get yanked off, and that should be it! They'll clean up, and with only one second left, all Superman needs to do is hide! Nothing spotted just yet, but you can tell that Exit is ready. Leading the way, and there's a gravity well from Depth too, but none other than the Jet will go on through. And they didn't clear their corners, and Depth capitalizes. The rest of Exit is capable of playing off of that. They don't suspect somebody at such an angle. And it ultimately costs Rise three players. Poised and Superman likely standing there wondering what the heck just happened. But Poised will try to narrow the numbers as best as he can. Position in heaven given away, dancing around, and there he goes. Poised still at 100 HP. He'll retreat to the Astra of Superman as the paint shells go off, doing some damage. Down to 54. The narrows have numbered, but still an advantage for x -Set. It's gone now. Rise of control above. They're putting in work. BCJ's going to play off of the rope. Down one goes, and he gets both. Obviously, the economy would suggest that's what we're going to see. There was, I don't believe, too much of a attempt at Thrifty. I mean, they got some buys here and there, but overall, Rise playing the long game, I think. It's unfortunate that we'll see what they can do with it. Oh, this is definitely a cocky lineup from x -Set, and it doesn't work out at the beginning, and it doesn't seem to be paying any greater dividends. Is that yeah, that's trash. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, not actual trash. This is Garbage? It was more that just unfortunate phrasing. And BCJ on the flank, by the way, as we talk about this, the spike goes down, takes out Poised. It's a winnable round, but it's just simply too many looking in one Whoa. way. They take advantage of Shanks, looking towards that link to spawn, and Zekin capitalizes off of that. What was a 4v2 has become a 2v2, but Hope's dashed as BCJ falls. Zekin will have to do it all. Only got one more to go. Three kills to his name, a fourth from him, but no! Derek said now, looking at the economy, it's make or break for both teams. That streak must end! Yeah. Well, Derek gets a pick on to Zekin. The advantage goes in favor of Rise, and if you look, they're heading towards A, the spike halfway. Superman will have no problem getting it down. Poised watching Heaven. A bit of a stun down, and Aaron from Elbow tries to make something work. Can't do it. One at screens now. That's Depths. Pure is taking up spot in Elbow, and Superman will try to jiggle around it. Neptune dives on in. He doesn't get the K, and oh, he's 0 for 5 again! <laughs> Unlucky as Neptune gets punished for that. The showstopper, a curse, not a blessing in his hands. Down goes one of the better players on Rise. Second is there, though. Can out duel Derek, who's making his mark on this particular matchup, and will now watch towards screens as Depp pushes towards the site. At some point, that spike is going to need to get planted. Whoa. Derek, two big kills, my goodness. But Aaron says, hey, I can get some of my own. How about two for you? Watch towards heaven. Spike needs to be retrieved and will need to be planted at some point. But poised and Aaron in a 1v1 with 20 seconds left means that going for the kill is the likely scenario. And poised will bring the heat to him. Was tossed up. Doesn't appear to be having the effect that they necessarily want. Rise will now decide, hey, maybe we can focus on B a little bit. Neptune and... Uh, BCJ, not too far off each other, not BCJ Shanks, my apologies, looking at the wrong jet. Poise goes down, there's the very first kill from Death. Pure is there as well, out doing Shanks, down he goes, a take with the ice wall will not work as Depth stops that in its track. One enemy remaining. Clever parlor tricks, but it doesn't really go anywhere. There was a flawless on the table, but Depth is fully good. Hey, but he knows, as that's a fantasy land, we aren't there. Rise does get the leadoff take on this round. Take a look. We got BCJ on the floor. That's the res gone. Would have been very influential in this round. It would have been important. But as you can see, Def able to push up into Ramen and get that pick early. So we're nice and even. Smooth Criminal walks in, executes, backs away. Mm. Yeah, but Neptune just dying too early on in too many of these engagements, and you know that Rise's stock would rise. Pardon the pun if Neptune was able to stay around a little far off, but being guarded by two separate members of Exa. Unsure of this. He knows Aaron's there, wins the fight, looks for the second spray transfer, not good enough, so Shanks will be the one to try and do it. He'll make some noise when he pulls out his weapon. And there you go. Do they hear it? 
That's the question. Yep, Sight's turn in that direction. Shanks, not able to do it. He has to go for the reload, and Death cleans up. Look at those silhouettes all lined up. There goes a Boombot to try and do some damage. Maybe strike fear in the heart. And a Showstopper goes in. It's good enough for one. Finally, a Showstopper kill pops up. It's not Neptune, though. It's pure. Neptune outduels him, though. So Imposter down as Aaron posts up watching Heaven. Towards the top of the ropes. A second holds through. Two kills lined up perfectly. Derek will be the one to try and save it. But this, this is their make it or break it. They've got the rifles. This is a pretty bad spot for them to find themselves in. Two exactly early kills on Def and Zekin, who are way too far up, and they get nothing for their effort. Pure is going to try and recoup some losses here. Comes up for our peak, and there it is. Shanks goes down, and there's nobody else to assist him. Derek with the read. Now it's all BCJ and Aaron. Just make that BCJ, I guess, as he finds himself at top ramp. And unfortunately, he could make this a 2v3 if he had the rest. He doesn't. And he's gonna get one. He needs to find two more. My the post plan, it's even more tricky. He pushes up towards main. And patient round. Does Exet have the lead, but Rise want to be within striking distance? Oh. Seven v five or a seven to five scoreline, and then two pistol rounds is good enough to tie things up. Starts off poorly for them, but gets a little bit better. As Superman with that divide in pocket will die. That's an ultimate not able to be used. Pure goes down. One more kill for you that raise could have knocked in eyes. an ultimate <gasps> on her end. Superman brought back, though. The resurrection from Derek works. Oh. And there's Kiss will be on B. That's where the spike is. We've been so fixated on A as Aaron shuts them down. But Poise gets the entry, what he wants. Showstopper pulled out by Neptune. And they'll need to get that spike down. No, the missile goes off. Nobody feet. hits. And only five seconds left means Neptune needs to plant. Will he have time to do so? There he is. Death waiting. A shot missed on his end. But the second doesn't it's all on the hands of Derek in a 1v2 the divide still up in front of him F is on this you have to hurry you have to hurry no you get off Derek you're the hero this time a massive clutch and that first trail through that first half they were on attack it's now exit's turn to see what damage they can do if required ascent is the third map so with that said this is pistols out Derek He's been leading the team, and no doubt will continue to do that. He gets traded out by Pures. Neptune's been having a bit of a rough matchup in comparison to matches previously. Down goes Pure. Exet will trail. Though, before they lost those two bodies, they did some significant damage to Rise. Nice shot from Depth. That's a beautiful thing. And he's got Neptune so low on HP, just one or two clicks will do it at whichever range he gets to. Aaron punishing Superman. And it's Shanks with the spike down to try. And now deal with the two remaining members of Exet. Both, by the way, at full HP. Frenzy in the hands of BCJ. Knows one's an elbow, so Shanks will take that fight. But Frenzy can't really do too much. You have to reload. Coming in from Rise, and this is a must-win round for them. They'll lose it. Exet goes up to 10, and well, paint shells work. Down goes one as Poised finds the first kill for Rise. He'll back away by the boxes. Out duels one. Derek's there for backup. Neptune looking for another. Can't do it. Zekin picks up a pair of kills. We'll continue to march forward. That'll be all she wrote for BCJ. That spike is surrendered as well. And Zekin, who's got two kills so far, will need to add to that and make it four if he wants to win the round. Sees the smoke go out and knows the location of one, but can't really engage the way he wants. It can be swung from the right. Also unaware if there's somebody up in heaven. Spike is surrendered. That's the particular problem. Derek, who's been great so far, gives Rex and Neptune's going to be the one to watch for it because that's exactly where the aggression comes from. Seekers tossed him in that direction. Depth starts things off. But Neptune trying to be the brick wall can't do it. Piece by piece, brick by brick, Exet is disassembling Rise. 30, 30 seconds, seconds remaining left. for that spike to get planted. Exet have the control that they want of the A site. The remaining two members of Rise will need to retake with just about 20 seconds to go. Spike was right being planted. Remaining. They think otherwise of it. Zekin putting in work. Eric says no thanks. That's enough. He's up top in heaven and a beautiful way up in heaven. And he's going to leave Superman all on his own as the focus from Exet right now is very much towards B. And they find Neptune and then Superman as well. They've cleared out heaven. They can continue to march in that direction. But tucked in the cubby is poised. He's waiting there. Seekers will go out from Zekin. And Poised's position will be given away as he shoots that through. A trailblazer will follow. And now as well, the slow from the ice orb. So Poise is essentially trapped in this corner, and he's getting dealt with by left. Zekin, just continuously firing through the cage. He'll collapse on him, down he goes, but Derek brings Neptune back from the dead. There's a fighting chance now. Rise actually has a big advantage, and it's BCJ is the last one to fall. So similarly, and that not just to, not just in terms of utility, but also in terms of the aggression we've been seeing, the confidence as well. It's a big cornerstone of both these teams. 
Oh, pure shutdown as he pulls out the showstopper. None for you as Superman now falls back. And that was the pick that was so needed from Rise as this has been a sluggish round from Exit to establish map control. 30 seconds remaining, and Rise looking to keep themselves left. in this, not wanting to give an inch to Exet, who are but a couple rounds away from a victory. On Exet's map, it was Rise who won. Exet looking to do the same here. And all of Exet will now link up as there's a divide from above. Flash goes out. I don't know if Poise's position has been given away, but now he can see, and there's going to be a bull rush. Poise trying to capitalize off of it. They're all just killing each other above, and in heaven they will need to live as the spike must be planted. So close, yet so far it goes down. Shanks trying to get on in, but there's a missed opportunity for Aaron. He'll follow up, but Shanks capitalizes. Depth, last one up. Spike is down. He'll have to play off of this 85 HP. No utility, at least not now, but that divide is still up. It'll clear. Eric full HP. Shanks has still the ability to make some noise here as there's utilities, abilities in hand. Vandals and all three of the players remaining. Diffusing. Def is waiting for a fake. He hears it. They reach the halfway point. Back on it. They'll go. Def will have to swing, but he forfeits it. Picks up both the kills, but it yeah, doesn't have access to that cosmic divide. So, you wait for now. Spike is still surrendered and needs to be picked back up. He doesn't need to overextend here. He can let them go past. The clock's at 30 mm -hmm. seconds. By the time they get that spike and push left. towards the actual site, it might be a little bit too late. All the while, Shanks had gotten a kill off-screen on a def. So that Astra is down. Are they going to go A or B once they retrieve the spike? They don't have time to head A. They've only got 20 seconds left. Ice wall goes up. Damage coming out. Superman blinded. Poised will spray through. But BCJ prevails in that fight. Pure was his as well. Only 10 seconds left. Shanks with two more. He's got three on the round. Second holding off. Takes out Shanks. Only five seconds left. It's him against Derek. It's literally one HP in a dream. Derek falls away. No time. And that's another round for Rise. A bit slower than they need to be. Through heaven, we'll see what they can do. As Rise circles the wagons towards A, Shanks gunned down by Depp. Derek capitalizes, another lined up, but he misses, just shooting a little bit of a hub. Aaron, Superman also down, and X-Set have the advantage that they need. It's poised in Neptune in a 2v4. Plenty of time left to get the spike planted, and they'll do just that, as the Viper Pit just continues to spread outwards. Aaron's not going to play inside of it, though, no. He'll be in the corner, just waiting. The rest of his team, though. Well, they'll be all spread around. One this is where things get real nasty. Neptune breaks in and he's punished for it. Pull it out, and they'll be rewarded handsomely for that. That gravity well just did not have enough coverage deep inside of B. On, and also, I mean, you expect that, right? You expect there to be a safe zone deep B from the gravity well, but the spray came through the wall and it didn't connect with Derek. So the planning there to try and dislodge any potential players from deep B or back B site. Uh, Blazer now finds him up top in heaven. Who next will be the one to challenge on ramps? Is it BCJ? Shanks needs to be very aware of this. As there goes some of that ice wall, and a res gets brought in onto Pure. So, and two ways brought in, but immediately killed by Shanks. Poised is the next one to die. Derek swings around on screens. This is his office. At the moment, is he taking clients? That's the real question. Out go the paint shells from Neptune to try to do some damage. Derek swings in, but BCJ finds two. Derek will need to clutch out. There's one kill for him, but second says no. X set take map number two. Not on raise, I think he's going to do a lot better anywhere else. Well, we'll uh, let's let's watch right now because this is a very quick assault from X set as they take control of B, but Ryan's trying to swat them away. Superman unable to connect that first shot, poised in between a rock and a hard place. Down in the back of the site, he is completely gone. Now we'll see what X set can do as the spike goes down. Depth still in this position, just back of sight, waiting very patiently. A shock dart goes out from Derek. That's the first kill from Ryan's. ECG down. Here are also very low on HP. Gravity well goes in, it almost gets Neptune, but he manages to evade it. Playing around that main doorway is Depth looking left and then right with the wall in front of him. Aaron on the flank, waiting, holding that position in market. The jet will swing in. He's on the ground, he can push up. It's not his teammates, we should know. Is it a defender, Astris? It's a very, very early on set of Seekers. Shot out by Zekin, who's been having a good matchup. A rare turret kill from Koi for coming on the BCJ. Rise desperately need to find themselves on the board, especially now they've gone the full by. Zekin one, Def with two. He's putting in some significant work. Three from Def. Oh my goodness. He's the sidearm to complete that one, leaving Derek to fend against the hordes of Exet. And there's still three of them left. Up he goes. Is a gravity well? He's about to get sucked in. Yes, he is. But he'll continue to skate forward. Right into the nebula. 
Let's be extremely patient here. There's one in hell, but depth with a 4K! Gravity wells. Oh my goodness. There's just so much visually going on. All that stimulation right in front of your very eyes. And nobody's really moving a muscle. The very first casualty is Neptune. No, he just flies a little bit too close to the sun. Great spike shot from Shanks B. as he backs away, taking out BCJ. And that's the spike down as well. Hard to tell if he saw it amidst all of the smoke and confusion, the chaos that's been raining over. So is the operator in hand. And he'll get a little bit aggressive. Alarm bot waiting very patiently. That will be deployed in just a matter of moments if Shanks pushes up too far. Meanwhile... All the way over on A, it's F sitting. He'll be spotted by that owl drone, and he backs it. away. It's a nice split here. Shanks can definitely make something happen with this operator, and it's going to be even more pressure on him as the uh, XF player starts stacking up. But, oh, bad timing, and Aaron's going to shut him down before he can do anything. Now left. firm control of the B site, as it seems there's been too much of a rotate by Rise, but Derek able to catch Def, who's trying to cut off the rotation. Spike planted. With that kill, we go even. Aaron also very low, but he will be healed up by a second, so at least a little bit back in this. And quarterbacking from all the way in Boathouse with that operator in hand. But a divide will come in. It's going to push two of them forward. Possibly expose them to the players from Rise. Are they being baited on in? Pure great shot. There's two more lined up for him trying through the boxes. He can't count on Zekin and he can't even count on himself. Superman. He resets that router. Boyle changes to certain agents that they use. Foster changes, etc. Pure, by the way, is going to push on in, but he misses his knives and Poised is the one to walk away surviving from that one. Poised loses some HP, but hey, he's a little worse for wear, but he's wearing it well. Neptune drops down, and so goes Zekin as BCJ finds the very first kill for X set. Spike will need to be planted at some point, but it's being held up at the arch leading into A. BCJ just trying to deal as much damage and inflict what he can on those playing up by heaven. It's Derek to swat away any advance through that arch. Well, the lockdowns and the Hunter's Furies on both sides <laughs> nullifying each other. Knives not working out for Pure. That was a very expensive round that we left. just watched Exet walk away from with a bloody nose. They could still cover it, but it's not going to be easy. No. Depth will creep on up now with the Nebula there. The door is closed, so what all can he do? You hear the bird go off. Who's blinded? Nobody now. It's worn away. One 10 left. seconds left. Exet are losing nine. out to the seconds clock. Left. One kill from Depth, but with Aaron dropping, there goes that spike. Depth is taking matters into his own hands. He doesn't have any time, and if you rise, all you gotta do is hide. Vandal out or not. Depth in mid over by Pizza. Trailblazer goes out around the corner. Nice swat away on to Shanks. Down he goes. Depth capitalizes off of that, and he can continue forward. Got the control that they want of that part of the map, but for the moment, the remaining four players of Exet or rather, of Rise are spread out quite well. Two on A, two on B. A rotate coming in from Neptune as they suspect that an A take is in the books. It appears that that's the case. There goes a flash. Can anybody capitalize off of it? No. Superman will swing on to BCJ all on his own. Both teams now at a 4v4. Superman picks up a double before he's taken out by Zekin. Next one up is Aaron, but Poise just narrowly missing out on that. He can't really do too much playing off of that smoke in front of him. As it will clear, he's prepared, but not able to outduel Def at all. So who's up next? Neptune? Derek? There's only two of you. You've got some work to be done. Aaron's in the site, and he has the spike. You can get it planted. 30 seconds remain. Aaron decides, hey, maybe it's not safe for me to do that. Probably because they've lost heaven control to Neptune. Flash comes in, trying to capitalize on it as Neptune can't do it. So now Derek's from above, and he'll shoot out that recon dart. Information. And it, it, yeah, Rise is a deep team, but they do need everyone, all hands on deck right now with these high pressure matches. Zekin will send out his second set of Seekers, and he'll try to capitalize off of that, but can't do it. Following up on them, Poise takes out both, and more even with it! Four on the board! Only one remains, just as we talked about it. Maybe we wrote the obituary a little bit too early for them, as Neptune gets the last one to start that does not do what it's intended to do. No shot. No shot at all. Aaron blinded Neptune swings, doesn't see BCJ for walk away alive. Poise doesn't want to deal with that one, so he just falls back readily. Shanks taken down by Zekin. The guns from Axet working out quite well, but we're at a 3v3 again, a stalemate between these two teams. 30 seconds. Zekin down below. 
They'll watch and do some coverage as the plant goes down, and a pop-up flash to try and blind them goes out. Doesn't hit with any of the targets that he wants, at least not in an engagement. Oh. Recon Bolt will go in, and just like that, Rise's re-entry to the site will be guided by the lockdown. Poised is dead, but the lockdown will remain. Derek finds one. There's more to go. They're in the danger zone right now, and it's second to be detained. Adventured, nothing gained. There goes the lockdown. You gotta use them now. You cannot hold on to them. You gotta use them or you lose them. So we're gonna see all the ultimates pop out. And right now, X, that's the one coming out on top. Two kills on their end. Another now from the Knives of Purer. Dwindling numbers for Rise. We talked about maybe a tied up first half. Doesn't look so likely now as it's a 2v5 for Rise to try to retake on as the spike will get planted quite adeptly by BCJ. Coverage from Hexet, spread out quite evenly. They're One watching remaining. spawn, they're watching aim, they're watching market. And the re-entry from Superman will be given away as he shoots away at the door. Now this time he's going to try to head through spawn. He starts with one on the BCJ, he's got three more. What can he possibly accomplish? Knives are still out from Pure, by the way. If Superman doesn't look to the left, he's going to get punished for it. And he goes, and just like that. You're Give Superman getting the spike planted and will do so behind the boxes and now assume the position as we now finally see that smoke obstruction will clear. One dash on out as information was given. Rise will have to contend against this. Xset have been the better team for pistols so far in this matchup. Will that hold true? Nano Swarm goes off and Xset with the retake working out beautifully. It's Derek in a 1v1 against Aaron. This is going to be tense. Down to the final second, spraying through the wall. Does he have the angle? A recon dart goes out, and it should give him information. Aaron at 67 HP, Derek full. And seeing the lineup of the head deals a whole bunch of damage, but he can't fully connect. He'll need to go for the reload, and he gets it! Stop! And they'll continue to push forward. Still, these LMGs in hand. That's a great skin by Aaron, by the way. I like that a lot. The Omni shorty, very, very nice. He gets flashed out, though. We're not going to look at it for much longer, because he is good. Rise sweeping in the first two picks, and of course, the fact that they won that first pistol, they're going to be in very good position. They've lost two now, though, so what advantage they had is slowly disappearing, oh and Zekin is making a name for himself up there on Heaven. Putting in immense amounts of work. Only on 7 HP, no ability to heal up whatsoever. Spike planted, so now the timer will continue to go. Clock ticking. Waiting patiently for the retake. Rise and exit. Both so good on these retakes. Exet was good, but they couldn't make it be done! And there they go! All of them are down for the count. Exet! And unfortunately for Rise, falling off at the wrong time is catastrophic consequences. So, for Shanks, it's been a bit of a rough game. Only four kills is just something that ultimately is a little bit too low for a jet. Or for Shanks, the first kill, really. though. It's going to come in from Derek onto Def, so there's still some life right now for Rise. Yeah, Exit realize is. how close they are to being able to put this one away and continue to trudge on forward here through the lower bracket. There's still some regrowth, so Derek might even be able to heal it up if he finds himself in the position to do so, but Zekin just pushing out into mid. And he's actually got a great position to catch Superman Spine off down. guard. Possibly get another one, but no. Great use of the shock bolt there from Derek. He'll take down Zekin. Derek's been really shining through here for his team. It's been absolutely necessary. Neptune also starting to show up towards the tail end of this map. Now it's just BCJ and Aaron on Xset. Post plant now, rise in a decent position. And this one is far from over in this matchup. Yeah. BCJ on the post plant in the previous round, so strong. Can he repeat that same level of success? He's put his team onto a 2v2. Swatted away from Derek, who picks in second with the pop flash. Depth will swing and capitalize off of this by being named. But the attacker lockdown will come in. Yep, a little bit too early. He'll continue to tap away. Zekin is there for added insurance. They'll need to take care of that lockdown. They get it. It's good as gone. And Rise's best opportunity to just dig into that site. All but gone. Pure takes out one. Shanks, fifth kill, and will now get the, the spike planted. Like in the middle of the site and walk away. Though revealed at the same time. Out will go one of those pop flashes and he'll be stuck on in. Down goes Shanks. And it's Derek in a 1v4. Exet in a commanding position right now, but Derek takes one out. Could there be more lined up for him? He's got the arrows in hand. 
some damage done to him at the feet by that shock arrow. Now he'll toss out one of his own. At the same time, the story has not necessarily been the decline of Rise, but also the way that Exet has played Look at this. in particular, hitting Look at his this. shots, every mark in front of him. All three kills for his team. No ace. It'll be denied by BCJ, but match point, series point. You need to call attention as well to the excellent play that's being displayed by Exet because they really are putting it all together right now. I mean, here is not even the top performer for his team, but he just picked up a 4K and a masterful one. Oh, well, we'll see what's left, but pure. Use that recon darts, not gonna spot those players because they are inside Cloudburst. The burst out there from Shanks as well, not gonna work out, but it's just a trade. At the end of the world, oh, but great oh, use of the operator down. pure. And now it's just Superman and Derek in a 2v4. And he's got them lined up, but he misses that first shot. Can't restabilize. Superman with the Spectre punishes him for that. Zekin knows that they might be just narrowing in on his position. Plant was attempted. Sound Q went out. Derek will be the one to cover this. He doesn't have any real information. Spike goes down, by the way. Now the divide comes out. It'll stop Heaven from being a focal point right now for Xset. Even the retake from Tree, he's got some support at his side, but he'll have to clear Hell, and this is where things are going to get real dicey. Superman's sitting on top of that ultimate. It will eventually clear, but at what point? Remember, Derek is going to be the one to emerge from that gate, from the arches, and he's got even more to do now as it's a 1v2. He loses Superman, and the whole match is on his shoulders. He's been a hero for his team, but...